thank you all for joining this session uh, we have right now with us keval khatiwala uh, who is now at georgia tech uh, he's in his senior year right keval yes fourth year okay so he's in his fourth year and he is uh, he's going to graduate from georgia tech very soon and uh, keval it's a pleasure to have you here uh, in this session today and we are looking forward to hearing about your experience of how you got into georgia tech and about uh, about your college application about your profile about your common app essay and things like that so maybe uh, let's let's just start you telling us a little bit about uh, yourself about your story of why did you apply to colleges in the us uh, which high school you are from things like that uh, thank you for introducing uh, hello everyone my name is keval khatiwala uh i am from surat gujarat and uh i uh graduated my high school from mit junior college in pune uh it's a government college and has a state board so uh not very challenging um so i got into a community college after that uh it's called forhill college and i spent 3 years in forhill college uh there i finished about an associate kind of uh, program for engineering and then i transferred to georgia tech and i have been at georgia tech for about 1 year um my major is biomedical engineering and uh i am currently pursuing uh, a minor in data analytics as well um here at georgia tech and uh the reason i got into biomedical engineering was in my 12th i i took uh, all the sciences and math along with computer applications so i had interest in math uh math biology and computer science uh physics and chemistry were not my strong suit so i i go, uh, got grades similarly uh in my 11th and 12th uh for that um mm -hmm. also um i wanted to pursue software engineering but with consultancy of neeraj sir uh i found biomedical engineering which was quite interesting and took all the subjects of my interest into consideration and it was a multidisciplinary uh, disciplinary field also it had a lot of versatility so i can bend into any field i like uh later on if i change my mind in any way and uh in my 3 years at foothill i figured that out uh that i wanted to go into analytics so that's what i'm pursuing right now um okay and uh, that that's that's wonderful so uh, why did you decide to um, transfer from foothill to georgia tech and why specifically georgia tech so i applied to 10 different universities um mainly from foothill it's very easy to get into university of californias um so i had university of california uh, berkeley irvine san diego los angeles and davis in mind and along with them uh, i had university of michigan uh, usc and georgia tech and rice university and penn state uh, university of pennsylvania so i think so i applied to like nine of these and uh, i got into like the top top six uh, six ones for biomedical engineering and georgia tech was number 2 in those ranks uh, so i was quite excited like i got into georgia tech mainly because it has the best curriculum for biomedical engineering and uh I, i i wanted to move out of california to explore more of the america so that was one reason i wanted to move into michigan or georgia tech um the reason i got into georgia tech was after researching i i realized that georgia tech had like uh the cheapest tuition and its focus was mainly on like providing uh application based learning rather than just usual uh theory based lectures and stuff so that was my main interest and to put into clear words uh i currently am taking a couple of co uh, courses which are only projects i don't have any exams nothing else just projects presentations and one of the device i'm working on right now is uh it's like a stress monitor bracelet so that's the thing okay so uh, tell us a little bit about your transfer application like uh, how how things work did you have to take some courses in your uh, first or second year and who supported in your application how did that whole process work so uh, for the transfer application um uh 
it, for first year, it's pretty flexible to like, you can take any courses you want. And that's what I did in first year. I figured out what courses I need. And I planned according to UC Berkeley because it, it had a plan which allowed me to transfer to any other university as well while completing all the requirements. Um, so there, uh, there is a couple of sites which counselors at university tell you like refer to this for like, uh, these are the prerequisites that you need for transferring this major. And I followed according to that. So that's why it took me like three years to like finish all the courses for like all the, uh, the whole thing. Okay, that, that's that's great, that's wonderful. Okay, well, do tell us a little bit about your high school subjects, which all subjects did you have in, in grade 11, 12, uh, and what, how, how were your scores? And did you take any standardized tests uh, and English proficiency tests? Okay, so in high school, uh, I chose all the sciences and math from the electives, and uh, I took computer applications. I scored an overall of 82%. I didn't have any uh, co-curricular activities uh, after I graduated from high school. Um, I took, uh, I, I was too late for giving ACT or SAT. So that's why uh, I went into a community college and uh, I gave a TOEFL in which I first scored 86 and then scored a 96. Um, uh, at Foothill, I took uh, mainly uh, complete calculus courses in math, um, linear algebra, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, uh, a series of biology classes, physics, and uh, a couple of programming and engineering based courses which were required for universities. Um, in those, uh, I can say about like I got uh, 60 to 70 percent uh, of the grades I got were uh, A's or A plus. Um, 20, 20 to 30 percent were B or B plus, and I got a C plus in one of the math courses which I took over the summer. Okay, um, that that's wonderful. That's great. Okay, well, now can you tell us about your college profile and your extracurricular activities? Uh, and, and you can actually go up till uh, when you applied for the transfer application. So what all kind of uh, activities or, uh, you know, extracurricular things did you engage in? Okay, so uh, over three years at Foothill, I had five different jobs. Um, I did one internship before, uh, like it was between the transition from high school to uh, Foothill College. Um, I did a volunteering uh, on uh, I did volunteering on campus a little bit um, in terms of like engaging in leadership activities and stuff, um, and I attended a biomedical conferences. To get into details about that, uh, the five jobs were first I started with teaching mathematics uh, as uh, in in like one of the programs at college. It was like a one on one peer sessions, so not not like a TA or anything like that. Um, another was, I was an admission assistant, so I helped with admission at Foothill College, and uh, after that, I got into the front desk uh, assistant position for the same department, and I was there for like quite some time. Uh, another was, I managed the database for uh, the admission department, so uh, that was quite short, so it, it was very, uh, I would say, not so interesting job because all I had to do was like uh, manage the records and like upload and maintain the records on uh, on their online server. That's all. And uh, the last two jobs that I did were at the uh, Disability Resource Center as the CRC lab assistant. And uh, another was uh, like during it was during the pandemic, so with everything on campus, I was a technology online. So I help students uh, figure out technology if they had any problem. And I, I was like in the first batch of like the tech ambassador. So I, I trained the next uh, new hires about that. Um, about uh, leadership, I was in a program uh, about mentoring students, uh, for, uh, mainly the freshmen. So I was enrolled about a year after I joined and uh, I, followed that program from Foothill over here as well. So currently, because I was a freshman at Georgia Tech, not, not a freshman, 
but like I just got into Georgia Tech and I had no idea about what all the uh, resources are at here. I was in a uh, mentorship program as well. And uh, I have a mentor who I check in with usually like weekly or stuff like that uh, about how things are going and like just check out on things. Uh, attending a biomedical conference was, uh, it was in California. So uh, San Jose organized uh, events like that. And uh, one of the conferences was close by. So I just went there because like, college was providing uh, an opportunity for that. Great, uh, th that's wonderful. Um, do, you, do you remember what your common app essay was about? Uh, I actually have stored the essays as well uh, from like the UCs and the Common App because that that was quite some time because uh, I, I rewrote the essays so many times and like worked on them for like uh, four or five months because I, I pre uh, prepared for transfer for like one whole year. And uh, in that time, I gave another TOEFL exam, which was for which I scored 101 and gave an ACT, which was about 28, mainly because like I got a low score in ACT for English. Uh, math and uh, science were pretty good scores. Um, for the uh, essays, the, uh, I wrote an essay about my weakest point and how I overcame uh, that, that difficulty and the journey through it. Uh, also, I wrote about my creative side uh, and how I applied and where, uh, where it is applied. Uh, I talked about how I made my community a better place. Um, it was mainly about uh, how I engaged into Foothill and uh, how I have prepared for my major. So I uh, focused mainly about my academic work and how I balanced the academic life from like personal development and the job, job, uh, Job, uh, working uh, working like job and uh, academics together. Superb. So that, that brings us to our final question here. Uh, do, do share about uh, what are your uh, suggestions and advice to the grade 10 and 11 and 12 students who are considering applying to Georgia Tech? So uh, I would say like start reading books because I started quite late of, about like second or third year in my college. And I realized the importance of reading books is more than what you think. It's, it's not just reading textbooks. It's, it's more than just learning. It's about uh, growing, learning about life. And uh, college prepares you for your career, but reading books prepares you for life. And that was like, uh, the best thing I learned about reading books. Also, I wanted to add about uh, writing essays because um, like, uh, I, I noticed that a lot of students who make mistakes about write, uh, writing essays was they don't go deeper into the college website. And because I worked at a, at a place where I was supposed to go deep into the college websites, I, I literally used that resource to like uh, dig deep into websites because like, all college websites have like a big network uh, of departments and all of them have like different sites and they have like articles and news that uh, news newsletters and stuff posted each week or so and uh, I, I did add like at least one to two articles about my interest and in why I want to go to that college in my essays. Wonderful that, that's really great uh, well it was a pleasure hearing about your experience. I can see that there are a lot of questions coming in uh, and I would just request you to please uh, stay back for a while and, and type in answers for these questions. Your advice would be very helpful. One question that I would specifically like you to answer is the question which is posted by uh, Ms. Sapna Goel. She's uh, requesting to elaborate on your foothill experience. Uh, please, please take some time and, and answer that uh, specific query. Uh, and once again, thank you so much, Kewal. It, it was a pleasure uh, hearing about you and uh, learning about your experience, about your application experience, and uh, about your extracurricular activities. Uh, th thank you for joining us today. Uh, should I uh, write a personal message about the question or like, should I share it through 
the video uh, you you can uh, uh, share share it in the chat at itself in the in the uh, thing itself yeah okay yeah okay thank you so much for having me uh, it was nice to meet you david sir thank you it was pleasure having you here today keval